Hello and welcome. I am Raghav. Today we are going to discuss how a typical day in the life of a QA engineer or a quality engineer looks like. I get a lot of questions on what I should do to become a QA engineer, what are the skills uh, I should get, what things I should learn to become a QA engineer. So today uh, I am going to explain you how does a day in, a, in the life of a QA engineer or a quality engineer looks like and when you have a clarity on uh, what are the things a QA engineer does in a day, in a typical day, you will have clarity on number one, whether this is something you are interested in, whether this is a job you want to do and number two, you will have clarity on what are the things you want to learn, you need to learn and what are the skills you have to get to become a QA engineer or a quality engineer. Now again, there can be different uh, names for these roles or designations at some places we call uh, QA engineers or QA analyst, test engineers, test analyst or uh, simply quality engineer. So whatever be the name of the role, the responsibilities are common. So a typical day for a QA engineer or a quality engineer starts by checking the statuses, updates, doing team meetings and collaborations and communication. So based on the phase of the project we are into, whether we are into the test planning phase or the test designing phase or the test execution phase or monitoring phase based on whatever phase we are into, we will discuss the status, what we did yesterday, what phase we are into, what is left, what we have to do today, we will take updates from the team. Now they can be uh, scrum meetings as well for the entire project or we can have separate meetings for the testing team or the QA team where we you know share all the updates we plan for the day and it it can take almost like 30 minutes to 40 minutes where we discuss everything about the status and the planning for the day so this is how uh, we start our day now again um, the scope of work for a QA engineer or a test engineer can vary from organization to organizations um, generally, if you are working in a very small organization or a startup, you will have visibility of the entire project. You will know what each team is doing and you will have visibility of the product, the entire product or the project. You will know all the stories, all the scenarios, etc. If you are working in a you know larger organization, uh, you will have a, a short window and you will have to work within that window. So based on the organization, based on the environment, based on the requirement, it can, the role and the scope can vary. Now I have been, uh, I have worked in larger organizations as well as very small startups. So I know this difference uh, when you're working in very small startups, you have, you know, the visibility of the entire project or the product. So, uh, you know, when I was working in a small organization, it was a startup, we were like total 25 people and all the including all the developers testers operations team networking team we were a total of 25 people team and we used to sit at a single place in a single you know large room so we have uh, we used to talk to each other we had visibility of you know every phase every uh, team so it depends on the kind of organization the kind of environment you are in but typically the first part of the day will be checking the statuses emails and uh, communicating with the team and planning for the day then the next will come test planning and preparation and basically if you are into that phase into the uh, phase of planning of the tests and preparation of the tests then you will be spending most of your day in doing the uh, planning for the test it can include uh, you know test planning documents creating test planning documents test strategy documents so you should have skills on how you should uh, how you will plan a test how you will create a test plan document what are the things required for testing how you will analyze all the requirements environments etc so this is a very very important part in the role of a quality engineer or a qa engineer that you have to do planning for your testing phase and here you have to take into consideration all the things like what will be the tools required what will, will be the manpower required the timelines the scope uh, in scope out scope user stories test cases uh, what are all the platforms required etc so you should have information on all these things then if we are into the test execution phase of the project then most of the time will be spent in executing the test cases and here you should have 
clearly identified and written test cases you should if you're using some app some platform where you are writing your test cases you will have to take make sure that everything is up to date everything is properly maintained we have you know all the possible uh, all the things required to execute the tests and if you are into if you're using automation then again all the automation tools infrastructure environment should be ready so all this will be a part of the role for a quality engineer or a QA engineer then uh, during test execution if we find any defect then we switch to the defect management mode where we first verify that this is a valid defect we make sure we re-verify it that it is a valid defect because we don't want to waste time of developers and other team members so first we verify it is a valid defect then we raise the defect on the on a proper platform if we are using some tools like Jira or any other platform, we uh, raise the defect there, we include all the steps to reproduce, all the images, videos, whatever possible we put there so that it is very easy to know what is the defect, how it came and then it is easy to troubleshoot and then fix the defect. Then so you know there is a defect management life cycle if you want you can learn about that more which will have all the stages of defect management so this is also a part of the role for a quality engineer then if we have automation ci cd devops in the in place in the organization in the project and if you are involved with automation then you will be spending a lot of your time in making sure that automation is working fine it can include the automation tools so based on the application based on the requirement you will have you should have knowledge of that particular automation tools uh, how to create the automation scripts how to manage and maintain the tool how to write the test cases in the tool how to run it how to troubleshoot and all everything related to automation and again ci cd and devops so again the ci cd and devops tools you should have understanding of those tools uh, i have created a separate video on the devops uh, life cycle and the devops roadmap i will put a link in the description if you want to look at that you can check that as well so you will have understanding on what are the tools and skills required now generally uh, if in a team there are two parts for qa one part is taking care of automation and the other part is running the test cases manually then mostly you will be involved with one of the teams so if you are involved with the automation team you will be spending most of your time in the automation related activities ci cd devops etc and if you are related with the other team you will be doing mostly taking care of the manual executions and defects and management and all those things okay then the next part comes analysis and troubleshooting now in the entire process of testing and the qa phase whenever there is any issues it can be technical non-technical team issue communication issues anything you will have to take care of that issue and you will have to analyze and troubleshoot and fix it so this again is a part of our daily life for a quality engineer then again uh, they can be training and mentoring work if you have new people in your team or if you want to do some knowledge transfer etc this keeps on coming every now and then so based on the requirement you will be doing training and mentoring activities as well and then finally all through the day they can be team meetings they can be updates communication and collaborations with other teams so you should also be good in team collaborations team communications and you will be having you will have to attend meetings etc so this is at a high level what a typical day for a quality engineer or a QA engineer looks like and based on what phase you are into in your testing life cycle you will be spending more time in that particular phase for example if it is a planning phase or execution phase or a monitoring phase but this is what a typical role or a typical day looks like in the day of in the life of a QA engineer so I hope this was helpful if you have any other questions you can let me know and uh, what are your thoughts also let me know in the comment section I will like to read them and I will reply to you I will see you soon Thank you for watching and never stop learning.